So it's that time of year again where the FM22 game cycle is starting to come to a close. Saves are being wrapped up left, right and centre. And even though it's almost six months away, the attention span starts to turn towards FM23. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the five most important things that I would like to see in FM23. Now, I'm not going to touch on things like graphical updates and stuff like that because I think that's part and parcel as the game goes through through a development cycle each year. I'd like to see the graphics improved, obviously the in-game engine, all of that stuff. I think that's part and parcel of getting a game developed over time and each season in like a cyclical format. That's the sort of given that you kind of expect. These are the sorts of things that I would like to see in next year's game. So let's get on with it, starting with number one. So we're going to kick things off by saying bring back FM Touch. Now I know this is available on the Switch, but I think this should be available for everybody. Not everybody wants the full scale detailed level version of Football Manager. And I think FM Touch caters to quite a large audience within the FM community. Now FM Touch was a thing in FM 21. As you can see, I have it installed on my Steam um, and it is was announced that it is out now in 2020. What happened to it for FM22? I think they missed a trick here. I do think they need it back. Obviously, the versions of uh, of the game on Game Pass and stuff are fantastic. So they are doing really good things for the community. But I really think this is a big step out and um, providing this back for, um, as you can see, everybody here, Windows, Apple, um, and all of that good stuff. It's, it's, oh, like, it, it just needs to be a thing. It really, really needs to be a thing. Bring back FM Touch. So the second thing on the list is more customizable set pieces. Now, we are in game here. This is my rebuilding Red Star save that we are doing live on YouTube. You can check it out a couple of times a week. And the goal is to basically win the Champions League with Red Star out of Serbia. Now, this is difficult enough to do, let alone, I think it would be amazing if we could go into the Champions League and have the most crafted set piece routine that the game just cannot handle. But you are very hamstrung in what you can do here. Let's say on the defensive end of stuff, I can only move players into all of these spots. What? What? Why can I not just get my player here and say I want him stood over here? I just want someone on the left-hand side so that we have two out balls. If I put this guy here, he stood holding hands with the other striker. I want him over here so that if, let's say, off of this corner, my goalkeeper comes and claims it... He has options on both sides of the field that he can distribute the ball to. Alternatively, on the attacking side, yeah, okay, you can say in terms of your delivery, you want it at the near post. Obviously, you've got these options in the bottom right here. You've got short, near post, far post, edge of the area, and six-yard box. Cool. I, I actually think that's quite good. You can say that you want different stuff here. If you wanted different routines, obviously, you can just create a new routine and start completely from scratch. You can definitely... 100% do that and obviously there you go there is the routine that is suggested and you can go and do anything you want with it what if I want to move and have multiple players let's say uh, everyone loves attacking this near post don't they what happens if I want to put everybody up here I want I want some freedom I'd love this guy stood on the penalty spot but I can't put him there I have to put him here with the instruction which absolutely baffles my mind of go forward imagine if you were on the training pitch and you were like okay you got a new player into your club you're or you're the new player let's say this you watching the viewer here is the new player into my club and I said right cool you're going up for corners mate you are the central midfielder on the left hand side you sir are going up for corners okay cool what do you want me to do boss I would love you to go forward. What does that mean? What does that mean? Obviously, some of the ones here I can understand, like this one here, lurk it near post. Cool, I get it. I completely understand. Uh, attack the far post. Sure, get it. What on earth does go forward mean? I just do not get it. I honestly do not get it. I think it needs to be a complete revamp. I want to move players here, there, and everywhere. If I want a guy on the far side, so just in case the corner gets overshot, there's a guy there ready to go. Much the same with throw-ins and stuff like that. I think all of the set-piece options and stuff like that need to be allowed to be tweaked even more so than they are. Like, if I want a guy to sit sit deeper here ready to receive the throw i want it if i want to move someone over here i want it i don't want it to just be a long huffing throw into the penalty area and stuff like that so i really think the ability to customize your set pieces is a must for fm 23 
On to feature number three that I would like to see, and I would actually like to see more staff roles in the game. Now, I know I've mentioned this years and years before. I would like to see a set piece coach there available for the top tier clubs who really want to try and make that difference. And I'd love a set piece coach to come to you like the analysts do and say, oh, maybe you should consider this. Maybe you should consider this. If the set piece coach was able to be in the game and you had a top tier 20 rated set piece coach they could come to you with a routine and go here you go steve here's a routine i've worked do you want to try it in game and they give you the option to do that away from things on the field i'd love to see like a commercial director if you appoint a commercial director that sits in the club somewhere a top a top tier commercial director will get you that better money in sponsorships and stuff like that um which i think would be really cool again much the same as media head of media i used to work in a media club at a football club i think it would be cool to have something like that in there obviously the better your media staff are maybe the more brand awareness you get leading to those bigger sponsorship deals so i think those two the commercial director and like a head of media role i think they'd be great to have together obviously chefs and nutritionists obviously that would probably come in this section here the medical team section but as things keep going like you can have chefs you can have therapists you can have all sorts that sort of nutritionists that fit into this medical thing again it's another string to the bow that these top tier clubs can have but if you're doing a long-term save and you manage to get you know that little bit of progression and you go to your you go to your chairman and you say sir i would love to have a sports psychologist as part of the staff here all the time ready for the players to go and speak to and that gives you just that little bit of an edge that you need to get promoted the following season i think it would make such a big big difference so point number four for me for FM23 and features that I would like to see is a league completely dedicated to testing tactics. Now, there are so many people out there that are excellent at tactics. Obviously, you've got my guy GYRFM, RDF, Stinger, all of these people who are absolutely phenomenal tactical minds just give them a, a basically a playground a sandbox to go in and test their tactics so that they don't have to load up a save all the time and see all that stuff on screen now is my tactic tester database which i've had created myself thank you very much moza for creating this uh this database for me but we've gone in and we've frozen every single player's attributes at 13 so for instance if we go on to Bayern munich here and we have a look at thomas muller he has all of his attributes at 13. We try to make it as impartial as humanly possible to make it all about the tactic. Sports Interactive, just give us a sandbox to do this. Just give us a 20 team league where all the players are all the same. They don't even need to have names. It could literally just be player one to 18 for all I care from my tactic testing purposes. But just give us that freedom to just go in and test things around and make it as impartial as possible just so that we can make the best tactics out there. I know Gareth would love that. I obviously try to create this myself um which obviously created a series for me and a set of videos which i'm obviously grateful for you guys are watching but how good would it be if you were trying to create your tactics in this sandbox mode where you could basically go and do anything you like and make it all about the tactics so it is completely impartial so my fifth and final point would always be to have more playable leagues within Africa. Now I mentioned this as a feature in my features video for FM22 and I understand that it's not an overnight thing that can happen. Obviously getting the right licenses and stuff like that to be able to show more leagues within Africa. And I completely understand that Sports Interactive are trying to do this sort of thing and get more leagues playable. But if you are doing a Pentagon challenge like I have recently over the last couple of years, South Africa is just not enough i'd love to see like egypt tunisia morocco these sorts of nations in there as well that give you a couple of different options for africa much the same as you've got in asia i think these eight here are actually fantastic it gives you a decent amount of variety that you can go and play in much the same as south america in six so if they could add another four or five nations just to the playable leagues in africa i think that would be a fantastic journey and fantastic opportunity for so many people to go in and try different things in the world of football manager and managing somewhere completely different that is the main reason why i play this game now i don't want to just be doing the same save over and over and over in england i want to branch out i want to try new things and i think having those playable nations within africa would really really help as i said i understand this isn't an overnight thing and i don't think it will happen immediately but i would love this feature to be in fm23 
And I'm just going to chuck in a bonus one for you guys here as well, because I know how creative the football manager community can be. Now, I just wanted to say, do you guys remember years and years ago when football manager used to have seasonal challenges in there where you could, let's say, take over a team at Christmas where they are bottom of the league and it was already pre-coded into the game. You could just go in and do it. I would love to see that sort of thing come back. Obviously, the shorter save, so shorter challenges for people who don't necessarily have the attention span to go on a 15 year journeyman and work their way up but also gives them a little bit of different things that they can go and do i know tony jameson does a save each month in his discord where it poses a challenge i think that sort of thing would be brilliant inside football manager even if you just open it up as a community one and go okay cool the community tournament for november let's say is to win the champions league with a team that has come from a second tier of a country cool okay you can start that and you can see that challenge and you can see over the course of the community how everything goes there are so many creative people in this community i think giving them a platform to do that obviously within the realms of the game i'm not necessarily saying we need to add in custom leagues and stuff like that if you just made the challenges available in the main vanilla version of football manager i think that would be exceptional and you would have so much diversity so much competition and stuff like that within the community i think it would take the fm community really to the next level but that is where i'm going to leave things for today's video guys if you have enjoyed this and you think anything about these features that i've mentioned in today's video let me know down in the comments and if i've missed something glaring that you would like to see in the game please do let me know down in the comments as well i am currently on holiday at the time that this video is out so that will definitely give me something to read on the sun lounger until next time guys take care goodbye